what is happening in the brain of a person with adult ADHD. I'm Dr. Trish Lee, let me tell you. Okay, so in adult ADHD, we know that it's very similar to the brain performance pattern that kids have that struggle with ADHD. And that is because ADHD is a neurodevelopmental disorder, meaning that it develops in early childhood, people are born with the brain pattern that creates it, and usually children struggle with ADHD and unless they have the proper treatment, they will continue to struggle with the brain performance pattern that creates the symptoms across their lifetime, which leads to adult ADHD. So what we know is happening in the brain is that there's too much slow brain processing speed being used. It is called theta. It's basically the speed that makes your brain fall asleep. So it's like a brain that's falling asleep all day long. Theta is supposed to kick in at nighttime in the evening when we feel groggy and it's time to get into bed. But if you have to deal with too much of that all day long, it's literally like your brain is trying to fall asleep. I always call it breaking of the brain because it's too much use of slowness. Hopefully you're following me. At the same time, we know that especially in adults, there's not enough fast activity in this central, more central and back parietal areas in the brain. So those brain areas are dragging. They're not using enough fast speed to be able to process information, use cognitive processes, process emotional and social information, sensory processing, all of those things. The frontal lobe is impacted as well in children and in adults being used too much slowness and not enough fastness. So what does that mean for you in terms of symptoms? It means that you won't be able to attend, you'll be easily distracted, you won't be able to plan and organize information very well, that's called executive function. You may have sensory processing issues. Um, into adulthood, you could have difficulty with your finances. It might be difficult to be productive in your job and get it done during your workday, which means you bring it home and you still don't get it done. It impacts your relationships. We know there's a much higher percentage of divorce when it comes to people with ADHD. You may drink alcohol or smoke marijuana or take drugs to stimulate and calm your nervous system simultaneously because that brain pattern is being used at all times, trying to shut your brain down. And then we know there's a comorbid anxiety pattern that happens, which means your brain starts to use lots of gassing to offset the breaking. And what that leads to is anxiety and increased stress, which can lead people to addictions. It's a very slippery slope. Now, what to do about it? The easy thing that science proves that you can do is to have an EEG brain map to identify your adult ADHD. You'll be able to see it with your own eyes. And then if it's there, more science proves that that adult ADHD pattern can be cleaned up. It can literally be healed. So your brain performs better and then you feel and perform better in your mind and your body. It is a top-down approach using neurological regulation to bring the brain back online so that then you can feel and perform better. That's why I always say control your brain or it will control you. Because if you're walking around with the adult ADHD pattern, your brain is controlling you. That very slow and possibly also very fast pattern, the pattern out here in the extremes is making you do certain behaviors and making you use certain thought processes. When you decrease them and you unwire them using neuroscience, which is called anti-Hebbian learning theory, you unwire the pattern that you were born with and now you rewire in, you hardwire in the new better pattern for optimal performance using perfect processing speed in the middle, your symptoms go away. That's called Hebb's Law. Neurons that fire together, wire together. So it is all possible using neurofeedback brain training. If you're interested in finding out more information about that, visit my website at drtrishlee.com. I have a personal neuro training program and I write blog posts every week with lots of information for you. So go check it out. Okay, I hope this helps you understand adult ADHD better. And if you're looking for help, 
I would love to be part of that journey. Okay, so remember, control your brain or it will control you.